Hi everyone, I'm Sonia Singh, the artist behind Tree Change Dolls. Now I thought it was about time I made another DIY video for all you fellow doll recyclers out there. So today I'm going to go through how I fix up and restyle the doll's hair. Now all the dolls I use, in case you weren't aware, they're all second hand discarded dolls. So often their hair is quite a mess. Now the first thing I do is take out any hair ties or anything like that and if the hair is really really messy especially if it's quite long like this doll here I would probably give that a bit of a trim with my sewing scissors here nice sharp scissors and just chop that right off to save me brushing it all out and then just trimming it anyway I'd do that to begin with now this doll's hair is not so bad so I won't trim that um, now what I use to wash and brush out the hair is I usually do it at the sink, but just so that you can see today, I'm using a bowl of hot water. Now I dip the doll's hair in the water, and then what I also use is just regular hair conditioner. Now a lot of people use fabric softener, and you can use that as well. I haven't actually tried it myself because I don't use fabric softener at home, so I like to just use things that I have around the house anyway. So I'm just going to use some... Um, <laughs> so um hair conditioner all right so hopefully that's enough and just put that into the hair and dip it in the water and brush the hair out now the best way to brush out the hair is especially when it's really knotty is just to start at the ends so start at the ends and as you brush the hair out move closer towards the roots until it's all brushed out so this doll's hair is not too bad and it won't take long but you get the idea. Once the hair is all not free, I'll put that aside, I would usually rinse the hair out under the hot tap. Now if the hair still looks frizzy, what you can do is boil the kettle and pour boiling hot water over the hair. Now, depending on the type of hair the doll has, if it's fine hair, then this will get rid of the frizz. But some dolls with coarser hair, it doesn't really help very much. So if it's really frizzy, you might just have to give it a trim. One warning um, is that on some vintage dolls, like vintage Barbies, I think it's probably not a good idea to use boiling hot water. It can actually melt the hair. But um, all the dolls I've come across, more modern dolls, it's not a problem at all. Okay, and then just brush the hair out. Now, I haven't actually finished this one. I'm just going to move on. Um, so after the doll's hair is all brushed out and rinsed, um, we can set that aside and let that dry. Okay. Now, a few other things people are always asking me about. Um, one of those is just colours in the hair. So if a doll has some different streaks of colours in the hair, Sometimes I will just leave the colours. It depends what kind of a look I'm going for and if I like the kind of style. Um, in some cases I will remove the hair, but I don't recolour the doll's hair in any way. It doesn't really work with the synthetic hair. So um, I will probably remove these red bits very carefully. Another consideration is, you know, if it's at the top, you don't want to leave a bald patch. So then I would probably leave the hair in. Um, no matter what colour it is, um, it's better than being bald. <laughs> um, okay, so let me see. So after I've done that, and usually the hair would be dry then, and I would restyle the hair, and I might actually give it a bit of a trim. And sometimes, because some dolls' hair is really, really thick, and it doesn't really look very natural if I style it into, say, plaits or something, and the hair is like bunched out like this. So I want it to look a bit more realistic. So as well as just regular scissors, I also sometimes use these thinning scissors that hairdressers use. So the way these scissors work is as you trim the hair, it will cut a portion of the hair, but not the whole lot, as you can see there. We'll just cut some of the hair and leave the rest. So I will sometimes use that. 
quite a bit to thin out the doll's hair just for a more natural look. All right. Okay, now the last thing I wanted to show you is the little hair ties that I make. So usually my finished dolls, once I've like plaited or given them a new hairdo, I will tie the hair with hair ties. I get a lot of questions about these hair ties, about where I buy these from. I actually make them myself. I make these hair ties just using beading elastic that you can get from any craft or sewing shop. And the beads, I mostly find these in op shops and secondhand shops, sometimes from secondhand jewellery, if I like the beads. And so I'm recycling them that way as well. So I tie those off myself. And that's about it, I think. So here we have it. Here's a before and after. <laughs> so you can go from this. <laughs> um, to something like this. Obviously that's not the exact same doll. But it gives you some idea. It's amazing the difference that you can make depending on the hair type of the doll. So I hope that's been a help to all of you out there and I hope it will help you to give some old dolls a bit of a new lease on life and stop them from ending up in landfill. Now remember you can follow me, follow Tree Change Dolls on, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, anything else? YouTube, of course. <laughs> and don't forget to follow my shop on Etsy as well if you're interested in purchasing.